is truly nothing I love more in the morning than my iced coffee. It is so good. Um, I love the busy cold brew. I have to say that's probably my favorite iced coffee or cold brew. Thousand percent recommend. It's just very, very strong brew. Like we, we love that. I'll show you guys the exact flavor that I do. I need to take my probiotic. But if you guys have never tried this and you like cold brew, it'll change your life. I'm not even being dramatic. I swear, I will never go back to anything else, even though sometimes I do, because I only get it when it's on sale at Publix. <laughs> this morning, I'm just going to make a to-do list of everything that I'd like to get done, not only today, but also throughout this weekend. And today's going to be a relatively chill Friday, which I'm excited for. I'm having my friends come over around like one or two. We're going to chill by the pool. I haven't even shown you guys yet, but my apartment just opened up the pool, which is so incredibly nice probably like eight or nine days ago and i've been there like six out of those days i've just been loving it i'll do some work up there or i'll lay out for like an hour or so this morning i want to be pretty productive i feel like i have a busy morning i have somebody coming over to pick up some facebook marketplace um things that i sold and then i want to get a workout in before that if i can also would love to tidy up the apartment a little bit i have to ship out some poshmark orders a bunch of random little things like that laundry this morning before I do anything just because I hate the sound of my laundry machine so it's easy to just get this going while I do other things this morning. I'm just gonna do my towels and then after I work out I'll do all of my workout clothes because I have a big enough load to do that but first things first we'll take care of the towels. I'm a laundry separator. Some people say that you don't need to separate your laundry but I feel like you should especially if you want like leggings and stuff to last longer. I always separate my laundry. I love the act of doing laundry, but when it comes to folding it and putting it all away and stuff, my least favorite part. I'm trying to decide if I want to go to an Orange Theory workout this morning or just do a workout in my apartment gym. Cause it's already 8.50. I think I might just do one here just to save time and be efficient because I don't really feel like driving either. So we'll just do a workout here. I'm gonna find a little fit. Maybe we'll do a blue moment. This is the workout set of the day. It's all from Lulu, so I can leave it linked down below for you guys. But this is the poolside blue color. Hands down, one of my favorite colors from Lulu. It's just so stinking cute. laundry holy moly there's so many things and then we'll head out run our errands and then my friends are coming over i was a little nervous because it was so cloudy out earlier this morning and it looks like it was gonna pour rain but now it's clear skies so that is florida weather for you but we're gonna have a pool day and it's gonna be amazing We are off to run some errands. I just got so tired for no reason. I'm gonna sit and chat with you guys because my face. 
feel like it. First things first, the post office. I have a pile of clothes in my passenger seat right now of things that I'm selling or things that I just sold on Poshmark. So I'll go drop those off for my outfit. I'm really just chilling in some casual clothes right now. I threw on this cropped sweatshirt from Aloe. Shorts are just biker shorts from Aritzia. And then these sunnies, these are new. I got them from Warby Parker. You guys know how much I love Warby Parker the best. They have such good quality glasses, whether it's sunglasses, eyeglasses, or if you need prescription lenses, contact lenses, eye exams, they have you covered. And I love their free at-home trying kit because you can try on five different pairs of sunglasses or eyeglasses for a couple of days, see how they fit, how you like them. And then they send you with a prepaid shipping label and then you just return it. It's free to do. There's no commitment and I love it. You can get other people's opinions on the glasses Then you can pick them up in store or online whatever is most convenient for you. I know they have so many different retailers like all around, they literally have one at the International Mall which is like eight minutes away from me. Also they offer prescription lenses that start as low as $95. So the quality and the price of their glasses is unmatched. So I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out Warby Parker and get started with their free at home trying kit. You can head over to warbyparker.com slash Snyder and get started with that. So I just wanted to shout that out for you guys because I love these glasses and I just think they're so cute and they literally match like everything. We secured the Olipop. I'm a happy girl, but I'm gonna head down to the pool. I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm just wearing this bikini from Target. It's an oldie, but it's a goodie. I love it because you can remove the straps so you don't get any tan lines. And then denim shorts are from Abercrombie and my little pool bag is aloe. I have to show you guys the pool because it's absolutely unreal. This is not typically like me, but I just woke up from a three hour nap and it felt amazing. I definitely feel so refreshed. It was clearly much needed. I don't know why I just randomly got like the wave of tiredness this afternoon, but clearly my body was craving a nap. I'm not one to nap in the middle of the day either and let alone a three and a half hour nap. That is not typically like me. It's about 7.42 right now, and I'm probably just gonna make some dinner and chill. I just made some dinner. I did my classic pasta salad with kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and then the protein noodles, which I got this time from Trader Joe's. They're actually really good. So I'm gonna eat this and then have a little self-care night. This is 100% what I've been craving for the last month and a half. It feels like it's been a while since I've slowed down and just truly had a relaxing, chill weekend. And my event that I have tomorrow actually got canceled because it's supposed to be crappy weather out. So I'm like, now it's really just gonna be a relaxing, chill weekend and that's good for me. So tonight we're gonna do a little face mask. I think I'm gonna use more of an intense face mask because my skin's been acting kind of funky, which brings me to the conversation of feeling the need to start birth control again. When I was on birth control, my skin was so freaking clear. That's originally why I went on it in the first place. And I think right now I'm experiencing hormonal breakouts on my cheek and my chin area because when you're dealing with hormonal acne, it tends to show up on your cheeks and your chin. I'm like a freak about skincare, so anytime that I break out, I'm always like, what is the cause? Like, where is it coming from? Because I really haven't changed anything up in my routine or my lifestyle. If anything, I've been trying to slowly incorporate like gluten back into my life, but my skin reacted to that. So I'm like, okay, 100%, I'm intolerant to it. I thought I could handle it again, but no just ain't gonna happen for me. But I'm using this 
Ordinary AHA and BHA peeling solution. So I'll leave this on my skin for like 10 minutes. I'm doing a double layer of it just because I feel like that was a little too thin. I love a quick face mask. It doesn't create a mess. You don't have to leave it on for like 20 or 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a little bit. I've got the dishwasher started. I'm just gonna like wipe down the counters and everything. And then um, I realized I wanna pick out tonight all of the prints that I'll put on my gallery wall in my bedroom. So I'm gonna go on Etsy for a bit and kind of like plan out the different prints and then send them over to the interior design gal that I'm working with so that we can finally have those ready to go and then hopefully within the next week or so. I would love if I could have my bedroom completed before my birthday and like before my mom and sister get here. We'll see if that could happen, but um, they come the 23rd, I believe. Yeah, they come the 23rd and my birthday's the 25th, which is on a Thursday. So it'd be ideal to have pretty much everything in my apartment, like all good to go and organize. Obviously I have my patio all done and ready to go. And my living room is like coming together. I'm so happy that I ended up selling those lamps on Facebook Marketplace. I was like shook by how like popular it would have been. I didn't expect so many people to want them. And then I posted a couple side tables that I've had from my old apartment that I just never ended up getting rid of and been wanting to sell. And I just like kept putting it off and putting it off. And now people are picking those up tomorrow too. So I'm like, that's amazing. I love decluttering and just getting rid of things. And when you would knock something off your to-do list that literally is the smallest thing ever, but just, you know it's so small that you don't ever get to it, you know what I mean? So things are getting done, things are coming together, and I love that feeling. But yeah, I'm just gonna chill on Etsy for a little bit and get some decor things done for my apartment and just have a relaxing rest of the night, like I said. I don't know if I'm gonna watch Netflix or anything because you guys know I have the attention span of a fly when it comes to that stuff, but maybe I'll just like toss Gilmore Girls on in the background, that's like my go-to. I just created like a very rough mock-up of how I would like my gallery wall to look. I more so just wanted to see how all of the favorite photos of mine would look together just in terms of how the colors would flow and everything. So this is obviously not the sizing of everything that I would do or like the layout of the gallery wall, but just in terms of cohesiveness, I wanted to see the different options. And I think I like the second one better. I don't know, but I really like this photo in the first one, but it could throw it off a little bit. I just like took screenshots of them on Etsy, but there's just so many, I like cannot decide. But I think these are the ones that I'm gonna end up going with. But again, like I said, I just kind of wanted to play, play around with it a little bit. Also, I have to show you guys, these two prints are so fun and hilarious so i want to put them in my bedroom by my desk probably above that chair and then close to the window like on that little wall i feel like these would be so cute there 